It's date night for mom and dad. Kaylee Cuoco and Tom Pelfrey stepped out for their first red carpet together since welcoming their baby girl, Matilda. The duo walked arm in arm at the premiere of Tom's new show, Love and Death, on Wednesday, and were all smiles as they enjoyed a rare night away from their bundle of joy. Although the newborn didn't join her parents, Kaylee did keep her close to her heart. The new mom rocked a sweet Matilda necklace while supporting her beau to honor their little one. The Big Bang Theory alum broke the news of their daughter's arrival on Instagram on April 1st, writing in part, Introducing Matilda Carmine Richie Pelfrey, the new light of our lives. We are overjoyed and grateful for this little miracle. Tom also shared the news on his page, gushing over his girlfriend and writing, Eternally grateful for the strength and bravery of my soulmate and best friend at Kaylee Cuoco. You are incredible. X says Hollywood recently spoke with Tom ahead of the show's release, and he said his lady love approves of his latest project. Have any of your loved ones seen the show, or what do they think about it? I know you and Kaylee are pretty busy at home right now, so I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't come up yet. We so. are, but no, we watched it. She loved it. She she really loved it. She was very impressed. I thought it, I thought it turned out excellent. You don't always know how these things are going to turn out. And I was I was really proud of this one. I, I thought I, it was great too. Yeah. I, I was planning on only watching the first one and just maybe watching it when it came out with everybody else, but I got too into it and I watched all seven. <laughs> yeah, I thought the show was great. I thought everybody was so good in it. I thought the production value and the way it looks, it was just so this larger than life and really fun. Like even though it's true crime and it's dark, I put all that together with the hair and the makeup and all the wardrobe and the sets. It all was There's really fun. There's some happening for you, for there sure. Is, there is. <laughs> I love those jeans, by the way. Yeah, like why some not? Of the fashion is still like yeah. coming back. I'm yeah. very into it. Yeah. Um, so, Tom, not to get, again, into uh, much of a spoiler territory, we have the first three episodes dropping on Thursday, and then fans are just going to have to wait once a week after that. Yeah. We end on a big cliffhanger with those first three episodes, but then we dive into a pretty heated courtroom drama. So tell us about uh, portraying someone who's defending a person who's not just guilty, but has committed this really heinous crime. Well, did she commit a heinous <laughs> crime? <laughs> I mean, I guess I would argue that she didn't. <laughs> um, no, I mean, you know, look, I, I thought we, we can never know for sure because we can't ask Don, but I thought that. I think a lot changed when he took Candy to see Dr. Faison mm -hmm. in Houston. I think that I think that especially we have to try and put ourselves back in 1980. We know a lot more now than we did then about mental health, and a lot of this mm -hmm. is much more commonplace. But I think for a man like Don, who's sort of quintessential American Texan of you know, my sort of father's generation, a kind of like good, tough guy in the old-fashioned sense – gets to see and hear what happens to Candy mm -hmm. under hypnosis. I, I guarantee you he remembered that for the rest of his life.